Hi there everyone, for Viral Now, I'm Jer, here today to show and talk about 10 terrifying animals you should be aware of. With our vast and large world, many types of life inhabit it. As people continue to progress technologically, being completely immersed in the urban lifestyle is becoming more common. Out in the wilderness, though, are some truly scary looking animals. Let's take a look at them. Before getting to the list, here is a quick message. To up your style game, check out HypeLitStore.com to find some of the latest trendy designs. With the Space Galaxy hoodie, Oreo joggers, or vintage Rick t-shirt, among many others. Once again, at HypeLitStore.com. Promo code Toothy Sulcus. The concept of the Uncanny Valley is in regards to aesthetics. When something has human characteristics, yet doesn't quite look like an actual human, it can be quite off-putting. The animal here is a deep sea squid, who has a human-like mouth. As you can see, its upper and lower rows of teeth with a similar shape of ours. The creature is quite rare and was only discovered a little over a decade ago in 2007 off of the coast of Tristan de Cunha, an island by its lonesome in the South Atlantic Ocean. Back to the creature itself, only one specimen has only been discovered. It has eight arms and two large tentacles. They don't pose any threat to humans as the one was discovered at about a depth of 6,000 feet and is only a mere one inch long. Monomata, a freshwater turtle found in South America, has a large, triangular, flattened head with a lot of flaps of skin and a horn on its long snout. By looking at the creature, it seems that their aesthetic came to be to hide from predators by looking like tree bark and fallen leaves. In total, this turtle on average measures between 16 to 20 inches long with a weight of about 33 pounds. The origin of the Matamata is in South South America in the nations of Bolivia, Eastern Peru, Ecuador, Eastern Colombia, Venezuela, Guiana, and Northern and Central Brazil, all in swamps or any other areas with slow moving waters. They are often mistaken to be from Mata Mata, the town in New Zealand, famous for being one of the filming locations of Lord of the Rings, being where Bilbo Baggins' home is, but no, this is not the case, they just happen to share the same name. The creature, the Mata Mata, is not an active hunter, meaning they don't need a large area to live in. They are carnivores, only eating aquatic invertebrae and fish. Barrel Eye The deep sea is often the place to look for some of the most strange looking creatures given their vastly different living conditions compared to everyone else on land. Here is the Barrel Eye Fish, also known as the Spook Fish. They have a transparent head, which show the casing of their eyes. The purpose of this is to allow more light for their vision to seek prey. However, despite this advantage over other fish, they are very nearsighted. Their field of view though is quite wide as they are able to look above them viewing through their transparent head. Their design also protects them when going to steal food from the tentacles of jellyfish. They won't be seriously injured. They are found around the tropical waters of the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. On average, the barrel eye grows to around 6 inches. Tube Nose Fruit Bat most commonly found in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, their scientific name is the Nictimini albiventer. They are quite the sight. According to the website animaldiversity.org, they are a quote, medium-sized yet robust fruit bat with a large rounded head. These bats have large eyes, long tubular nostrils that extend sideways from the face, and a short tail. The fur is soft and long, grayish brown above but darker along mid-back and on the spinal stripe. The underparts are usually yellowish-white. The neck and sides are tinged with yellow or orange. The ears and wings are splattered with irregular yellow spots. This mottled fur may help them remain concealed while hanging in their resting position. The length of head and body are about 8 to 9 centimeters, uh, which is about 3.15 to 3.5 inches. The forearm is 5.5 centimeters to 6 centimeters, about 2.2 to 2.4 inches long. These bats weigh up to 45 grams. 1.6 ounces. For their diet, they make use of their thumbs to dig into fruits found in rainforests and swamps where they live. 
Lobster Moth Found mostly in the southern half of the UK, in the polyarctic realm, just as the name suggests, this is a moth that resembles a lobster, more so while it's in its caterpillar stage. You can see their rigidness especially here before growing wings, also equipped with the long legs, it really is a horrific looking creature in this stage. As a full grown moth, it then resembles a pile of leaves as a defense tactic from predators. Its wingspan goes from 40 millimeters to 70 millimeters and has a lifespan of about 6 weeks at most. I suppose the lobster moth is like most humans during puberty, often appearing quite horrific. Then once adulthood comes, we turn into a pile of leaves, or, well, sorry, I, I mean something more beautiful. Marabou Stork This is a large, unusual-looking bird. With its long legs made of hollow bones, typically having a total height of 5 feet. They also have hollow toe bones. Due to the lightweight legs and toes, they're able to fly using their 8 foot 2 inches long wingspan. Moving upwards from their legs, of course, is their head, but right below is a reddish pouch used in courtship rituals, meaning in order to pick up a mating partner, they make use of the foot and a half long sack to produce a loud croak. They are found in Africa south of the Sahara, and will often associate with humans living near fishing villages and garbage dumps. Cyclops Shark This thing has a single functioning eye at the front of its head with a total body and head length of 22 inches. This was just discovered in the year 2011. This creature has baffled many scientists. As of this day, the Cyclops Shark has never been seen alive, leading scientists to believe the shark has a short lifespan. They seem to be a deformity, however, of a normal shark, as one deceased cyclops was once found alongside its nine normal siblings in Mexico. Nothing else is known about the cyclops shark so far, as they remain fairly unseen and abnormal in nature. Venezuelan Poodle Moth The subject to speculation as to if it's real or not, many legitimately believe that the poodle moth was a hoax, as they look strangely cute yet menacing, and very comparable to a Pokemon. They are, in fact, real. Not much is known about them to this day, as they were discovered not too long ago in 2009, and they have not been found since. There has only ever been one spotted in Venezuela, hence the name. Beyond that, there's not any more solid information found about them. As I mentioned, in a sense, they do look quite cute, quite cuddly, but <laughs> that is not the legitimate case, however. Wouldn't recommend if you somehow spot the second poodle moth to go up and give it a good old hug. Not that I think you'll be able to with how small they are, but anyways. Dumb joke, let's go to the next one. Goblin Shark. In my opinion, the most terrifying creature on this list. The Goblin Shark, also known as Mitsukuruna Ostoni. It is the only living member of the Mitsukurunidae family. Its most prominent feature is the flattened snout that protrudes from the top of its head in a shape comparable to a sword. Its jaw sticks out underneath and inside contains 35 to 53 rows of upper teeth and 13 to 62 rows of lower teeth. Teeth size varies, but those near the center of the jaws are longer than those on the back. Its body is quite thin, with its blood vessels being very close to the skin, it provides a pink color of the shark. Once they reach adulthood, their total length varies between 9 to 13 feet, and they weigh between 440 to 465 pounds. They are found in the waters of Australia, New Zealand, France, Japan, Portugal, South Africa, the United States, and also among a few other places throughout the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. They enjoy eating smaller sized fish, squids, and crabs. The goblin shark is not a fast swimmer, so to catch prey, they follow them from above and stealthily make their way to the prey to get them. Koi. Wrapping up this video with the koi fish, which is a fairly well-known name. I know I've heard of koi fish in media before, but I had never taken a look at them, and I'm not sure if you have either. These fish are from Central Europe and Asia, they're really quite the spectacle. Featuring their mouths without teeth, they can be kind of intimidating to look at, and if they are raised in ideal conditions, can grow up to 3 feet long. Their average lifespan is 25 to 35 years, although supposedly there was once a koi named Hanako that lived for 226 years, being born in the year 1751. Yes, born in the mid-18th century. 
who then went on to live until 1977. Anako's age was determined by looking at microscopic growth marks that covers his scales. These growth marks act like the rings on a tree showing how old he was. The same thing is true for all koi fish in general. Thank you all so much for watching. For Viral Now, once again, I'm Jer, wishing you all to have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.